Hi, welcome to this makeup video. Um, today I'm just going to try my CoverGirl Clean Foundation. Um, it's the Clean Normal Skin and 125 Buff Beige. That's the color I chose. Oh, it's in a good match. I bought this a while ago. Um, it's supposed to have um, like really cool ingredients. It has like um, eucalyptus oil and it has steric acid which sometimes comes from a vegetable source like coconuts I think and it has um, eucalyptus clove flower oil so that's really cool and it has natural sunscreens like um, titanium dioxide and um, iron oxides I'll just um, check this up, and I'm just going to use my fingers to use the product today. Yeah. I wanted to make a couple videos today. I wanted to share um, some recipes that I really loved in this magazine that I have, and I wanted to share um, a vegan magazine that I found by um, the New York Times. No, no, not the New York Times. What am I saying? Um, by the Vegetarian Times. And, um, so this is what the bottle will look like, and I wanted to share, um, my sewing project with, um, with you all, or with you. Oh my god, I just started pouring out. <laughs> Did you see that? Just try to. This smell is really nice, but I just wanted to share those things with you. Um, ways that help my vegan lifestyle. I didn't know it would just start pouring out like that. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm trying to clean up the bottle as best I can. <laughs> Okay, so I'm guess I'm using the pads of my fingertips and it all right down my hand. So I was looking online since I was wearing a lot of CoverGirl products that, um, oh my god, I use so much that, um, like CoverGirl first came out and like, the 50s or something like that and um they were advertised as um, makeup with Noxzema because um they're created by like the Noxzema company or the company that owns Noxzema and so it had like good for you Noxzema ingredients and I was so disappointed that the Noxzema um um, cream cleanser, it's not a vegetarian product, so I'm so disappointed. Um, but yeah, this item I think has been around like since the 50s, and I'm guessing that maybe they changed it when P&G bought it, but I don't know. But I don't think there's any animal products in this. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And I like this. It smells really refreshing. It feels like I just got out, like, or I'm just in the spa having a facial. And it feels like really, really, like, really good. And I love eucalyptus. I love, love, love eucalyptus. I love this smell. I love, oh, just love it so much. So... I'm just going to try to put this just on my shirt, but we'll, down my neck, and 
This product is an oil free, but I think it's supposed to be non comedogenic and <sighs> this I I just love the way my skin feels and yeah, so um I saw this like online as an advertisement from like the nineteen fifties and I saw one advertisement from like the seventies or eighties or nineties and um it was for a cover girl clean sensitive and she was the woman was like holding up like this flower and stuff. I just loved it. <laughs> Anything like earthy and like botanical, I just love it. Um So yeah, this is what it looks like, and I really like it. So, that did a pretty good job, so, yeah, I didn't know that it would just pour out like that. Oh my goodness. And I have some dry skin, and it's really sensitive, so I wanted to um, use my clean foundation by CoverGirl for normal skin, just because I wanted the moisturization. Oh, and I was also... Um, when I was also looking online, I saw an advertisement for like, um, was, this is a good product for people with blemishes. It was like something about like teenagers and when they go on a date, like it's good f to cover up blemishes and it has like antibacterial properties and eucalyptus, um, and clove are antibacterial properties, so they'll probably... Um, prevent blemishes and so yeah. I'm gonna just put a little bit on my ears, make me look even. And oh, I had a, I had some right there. I didn't even blend in, and it just feels really nice. I really like it. Okay, so I didn't get, I didn't expect my foundation just to pour out like that. I don't know, it'll be so liquidy, <laughs> but so that's that. Let me just try to okay. Enough with that product, and let me just try to clean that. And I really like how it makes me feel like awake and fresh, like I'm ready to start the day. This would be a really good product, like, um, if you wake up, like, really early in the morning, it would help wake you up because it's so refreshing. It's really nice. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use this color, um, um, Perky by CoverGirl Blast Flipstick and... I'm going to try to see if I maybe should get some more while they have them on clearance. So let me grab my mirror. I hope I look okay. And this product has like good botanical ingredients, which is really, really nice. And of course, I didn't brush my hair. Okay, whatever. Okay. So, on with the lipstick. <laughs> it gives me a pretty matte finish. Okay, now for lipstick. I'm going to put the bottom coat on. Oh, by the way, it just looks like this. And put this on. Oh my god. I totally broke it yesterday. Hmm. 
You'll just have to make do like that. Okay, so I'm just going to try to do some eco-friendly house cleaning today and do my other videos, so yeah. So I'm going to do my other videos. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I screaming? Bye. <laughs>